What's up everyone? I have finally got everything organized how I want it on the toolbox. It looks so tiny with this wide angle. It's more like that, but got it organized and everything in its place. The lid can shut. I've made some more room between the three boxes. So it's time for updated toolbox tour. So I'm not gonna do it all in one video. I'm gonna split it into three, maybe two, just depends on what all I can fit. I don't wanna go too long and lose everybody's attention. But we're gonna start this video on the top and we'll just work till we can see as far as we can go. And then you'll have to subscribe to see the rest of it. Um, hit that bell so you'll get a notification. So when I do the whole, the rest of the video, either other video or videos, you'll get a notification because I have moved everything around. I fit, was able to bring stuff from other places into it. I had stuff scattered at the house and everywhere else. So, be sure to subscribe. There's going to be more videos to come on this. It's not going to fit in one, and you're not going to want to miss it. So let's start up top. And the top box is just a 56-inch U.S. General, nothing fancy. It's a Series 1. It's, it is what it is. The bottom box is a 65-inch Mac Tech box. And it's not worth the money at all. Um, I've had it for maybe five, six years. It's having all kinds of issues. I don't know if you can see, but it the paint is just bubbling and peeling right off of it in several places. Um, the locks are really finicky on it. You have to, you know, you have to play with it just to get it to lock. Um, that box doesn't have any problems at all. It's perfectly fine. I've, I haven't had it. It's maybe six or eight months old. It's great. No issues whatsoever. Plenty of room. You know, of course I wish it was bigger, but if it got much bigger, it wouldn't fit between the cars. So let's start up here. Well, we'll start on the sides. I got a power strip. One of my employees has his light plugged in because he doesn't have a power strip. Over here, just some bungee cables and a... That's actually a refriger, refrigerant scale that is broken. I'm trying to get it fixed. But anyway, and up top, just pictures and the calendar. I put that calendar up there and then realized I couldn't see it. But anyway, up top we have... Scan tool, Modus Edge, tablet, just cheap tablet to if I happen to need something quickly and I don't have my phone. Battery saver or memory saver. OBD1 adapters, charger, amp clamp, test light with the, where's it at? The voltage reading. Uh, scope leads uh, just about worn out fluke this little back probe set the relay bypass kit and a couple of spark testers and notebook over here I made some room got my keys just in there and a Harbor Freight slash Star. It's a little bit of both kits. Compression tester. This is like glues. All kinds of glues and chemicals and like sticky stuff. Silicone. Gasket maker. Thread locker. Anti-seize. And then in here is just all those little packets 
that we don't use because we use a different different type of lube for the brakes oh and a pump for the like gear oil bottles down here got all the little adapters for the I have the three different die grinders this little guy here is a little trooper <laughs> I've had it forever and it this little cobalt just will not die it's not the most powerful thing in the world but you don't always need the most powerful thing in the world um, then my other ones are a 45 degree matco I got this little swivel thing trying it out on it and really I couldn't think of what air tool I'd actually use it on because I don't really use the impacts or ratchets or anything got the straight die grinder got this little grinding set and all those little cookies and wire wheels and cut off wheels and scrapers and adapters then I have I think this is the, this is the older one I think I don't know. I don't have a Matco guy anymore, but it's older air hammer, but it's long barrel. Got some air hammer bits, just different ones. And bottom drawer. Yep. Break stuff. So, some kind of union. I don't even know where that came from, but... Stuff to do brake lines, which occasionally I have to do on really old cars. These are all the... <laughs> all that to bleed master cylinders. It's the hoses and adapters for master cylinders, so you can bench bleed. Got the Matco slash Lang brake pad spreader. Then got a little cheap one, but it does have adapters to make it really wide so every once in a while that's the one for the job a really cheap flaring tool like I said I don't do a whole lot of brake lines very few brake line bender another caliper press drum brake tools over here just spoons and things got the brake grease and that I keep throwing that over on the floor and somehow it keeps coming back and just some wire all right up here I have all kinds of stuff I've got a cheap Tecton 3 8 don't do don't torque wrench don't really torque a lot of 3 8 got the half inch snap on tech angle real good deal there a little quarter inch driver this little Duralast little tiny 3 8 it's a really nice little ratchet works pretty well and some ancient um, air ratchets that I, I used that one for a while this one it's all scratched up but I, it's just from moving it around I barely use that one over here one of the first ratchets ever that I got when I first started working on cars. Got it husky set, the whole black set. And that was like, man, that's almost been 20 years. But that's the only thing left out of that set that I can find. So I just leave it up here. Got this like 45 degree snap on ratchet. Uh, longer 3 8 matco ratchet and some half inch snap-on ratchets the straight short one locking flex head medium length and then locking flex head the real long one got a really old really really old let's see i think it, it's either 56 or 46 i don't know y'all let me know in the comments it's but it is old it's kind of Maybe we'll see that part number. It looks like it says number seven something. HM maybe? I'm sure y'all know more. Got a long Matco breaker bar. The good old Pittsburgh breaker bar. Snap-on um, 
impact driver half inch really only use the three for the Honda brake rotors every once in a while use that and that's just a cheap OEM stud remover next drawer pliers Everything wants to rust, so I keep those covered because I really don't want those to rust because can't get these. Every once in a while, they'll have the black-handled ones, but my snap-on guy says if I break it, then he can't guarantee I'll be able to get the black ones again. But I got that black set. The snap ring pliers, I bought these maybe a week because they went on sale, of course, I should have known. If they were going on sale, there was a reason because it still has the little twist instead of the push button. Of course, the next week or two, he had the push button ones and yay, I have the old ones now that are really annoying. Got some little, little needle nose and cutters and things. The, don't ever use this thing anymore. I have the Cobras and these channel lock style snap-on pliers just don't really cut it. These on the other hand, the PWZ 1 and 2, I use those a lot. Those are really good. And that's like trim tools, plastic trim tools, and some more trim tools, and this cheap thing that you shouldn't ever rely on. Uh, Oh, what's this for? Making, oh, good grief. It's not going to come to me, I don't think. I think it's spark plugs. Spark plugs? I think I made spark plugs with a spark plug wires or something. It's been a while since I used that thing. Uh, just some more lock ring pliers and old school vice grip. These are pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it, but... These are USA made, good old school vice grips, and then just some cheaper vice grips. Relay pullers, old school snap-on little spreader for battery terminals. Let's see if you go somewhere. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with all this mess. Got some scissors. Wire strippers, more um, panel deals, some really the crappy Harbor Freight uh, hose pinchers, those little clip removers, more panel tools, some really, really horrible Matco needle nose. And back in the back, I got a set of a Klein crimpers and then some Matco more trim tools. Lots and lots of trim tools in there. Most of my pliers are in my roll card. This is kind of the stuff that just doesn't really fit. Got to get that covered back up so they don't rust. Everything in this humidity just turns to just get surface rust and pits real bad. This is just kind of the junk drawer. I do have my lube for the air tools. Uh, oh, that's a wideband O2 sensor bone. There's little suction cups for windows. Temperature gun. Safety glasses back there. EpiPen for my daughter. Zip ties clutch tool down there, or clutch alignment tool, little crappy UV flashlight, don't really use that, I have something different, and just more junk, you know, found this in a car I bought, Starfleet Medical Officer badge, <laughs> and some razor blades, funny enough, that's actually nitrous pills in a pill bottle, old mirrors, and air tool oil, knife sharpener, chargers, you know, junk. And the last drawer in this box is going to be bits. So, Torx, Allens, 
triple squares, inverted torques, and just anything that is not a regular socket. So in the back, it's got the half inch gray pneumatic torques. I forget what these are called or who makes them, the five point torques. It's a set of gear wrench security torques, then the 3 8 gray pneumatic torques, gear wrench standard. And you see what I'm talking about. Oh, let's see if I can get an angle on it. See how rusty. Everything just, the humidity here is horrendous and the, everything turns to rust except gray pneumatic stuff. All their stuff, it never rusts. Like, all this stuff is five, six, ten years old or whatever, and it's no rust whatsoever on it. Uh, that's actually ADV or, which I found out like a week after I got it, that it's just Sun X long torques. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have bought them. Uh, this little, little mini bit set with this little, has little low profile deal and all the let me zoom in on it zoom in they are real real little so they're real let's see if it'll focus real short bits and it also has really really short sockets so if you load this thing up the overall height is very very small so that's a handy little set i really do like that set one of the odd couple of things i think gear wrench has a set similar there's a couple of companies that have something similar to that all right let's go back to normal over here continuing the stubby snap-on torques snap-on e-torques vim triple squares, and then I've got some little longer Duralast, which are not bad, not bad at all. And then these are just some cheap, cheapo long torques, or not torques, triple squares. Uh, Matco, Wobble Allens, like standard. These are all metric. They're all Matco, just different lengths, and then those are the stubbies. Not bad. I don't really see a huge... They're a little different than the gear wrench because I do have the gear wrench standards. So they are slightly different. If you look closely, the way they are made is slightly different. I think it more lines up like that, but slightly different. So not exactly the same as the gear wrench, but similar. Then I've got a set of Monster... I'll forget what these are called. Bit, ratchet, and it has a quarter inch on the other side, but it had three different sizes. And of course, those gear wrench, some ball hex, some real long ones, this little Sun X bit set, the blue point long bit set that's just about had it. It's rusted out. I've had that for a long time. These are pretty cool. I use them occasionally. They're them they call them nut setters but they're just they're magnetic on one side and they're deep so you can like a deep socket on the other side and it's all you know 8 to 14 either magnetic or deep pretty neat then snap on the long bit set that replaced the blue point set it's just got torques and screwdriver bits and and both a medium length and the deeper length and it's got a little adapter that you can put on a quarter inch ratchet pretty handy and then this is just a huge vim like master torx set so it's got s-a-e-n metric it's pretty handy for the the oddball quarter inch because it does have quarter inch in it and then last in this box is my new 
uh, Capri Torque set, which I've used it a little bit on a couple of things. So far, so good. I did use the 8, which is the one I always wonder about is how well the 8's going to hold up because it's so tiny. And so far, so good. No problems, no complaints yet. We will give it a few months and then see how it goes. And we're at 20 minutes, so I'm going to call it on this video and then... In the next day or so, we'll pick it up with this box. That's when the fun begins. So be sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see the next video. Until then, y'all have a good day.